One of these SD cards is not like the other. Can you guys spot the difference? If so, great. If not, stick around for this video as we're gonna be discussing SD card speeds and why media matters. Okay, so we have two 64 gigabyte SD cards here for you guys, both from Delkin devices. We have a UHS-1 V30 and a UHS-2 V90. Right from the get-go, physically, there's a difference between the two as the UHS-1 has one row of pins, whereas the UHS-2 has, you guessed it, two rows of pins. So the pins help with the writing process and overall speed, which we'll also be getting into right now. But before we do, just be sure to check your camera and what media formats it supports per slot. You wouldn't want to get a UHS-2 and it not work on your camera. UHS-1s do work on UHS-2 slots though, so definitely keep that in mind. Okay, so UHS-1s. UHS-1 V30s are pretty good standard issue cards that will handle most 4K 24 to 30 frames per second videos. Your memory card speed will also determine how fast your photo will write onto the card when shooting in burst mode. In this V30's case, it will write about 90 megabytes per second. Consider your camera's frames per second in continuous shooting and the image resolution whether you're shooting high quality JPEGs or bursting in RAW. Okay, so this leads into a great example with the next card we'll be talking about, UHS V90s. So let's say for example you have a Sony a7R4 that shoots 60 megapixels raw at 10 frames per second. Now that's a lot of data that needs to be written quickly into the card. So if you're shooting in bursts of 10 frames per second, that's roughly 600 megabytes of data per second with the a7R4. Although the V90 we have here is rated at 300 megabytes per second, it's still going to be the preferred and faster card for data intensive photos. On the video end, UHS-2 V90s are recommended if you're shooting at 4K on cameras at 60 frames per second and up, or if you're shooting in data intensive video codecs that retain a broad color gamut. These are things such as 10-bit 422, ProRes, etc, etc. Now that is a lot of info. But the long story short is, if you're doing 4K 24 to 30 frames per second and working with a modest megapixel camera for burst shooting, a UHS-1 V30 will suffice. But if you're doing some crazy stuff with high megapixel burst shooting for photos or high frame rates and color data for video, definitely invest in a UHS-2 V90 memory card. Alrighty, hopefully that gave you a better idea within regards to SD cards. They're definitely not all built the same, so definitely consider the camera and what you're wanting to do, so that way you can invest in the proper media for your next shoot. Of course, we offer the fastest selection from Delkin, Lexar, and Promaster. You can check out our full selection on our website at bncamera.com or just come on down to the shop where you can go ahead and peruse and browse the full selection of what we have. As always, if you guys liked the video and found it informative, please feel free to give us a like and subscribe to help grow and foster our channel. Of course, I am Raf from BNC Camera and I'll catch you guys in another video. See ya.